Hey everyone, it's the Snakey back again with another video and I'm here in Oblivion Remastered with a short enough video with the gripe that I have about the game. Now I could talk about the gripes that I have about the game for hours on end here but um, I'm not going to spend the time complaining. There's enough of that going on on the internet at the moment. The game has its problems. Um, Unreal Engine 5, I still don't understand why it's being used at the moment. It just seems to be a massive kind of almost tech demo for what's going to be down the line in a few years but anyways i'm not going to rant about the performance situation here today i'm going to do a proper benchmark video and talk a bit more about that hopefully if i get a chance on my hardware which isn't exactly low end and the performance still isn't great but anyways i want to talk to you about another gripe that i have with the game which is the fact that there is no hold to sprint option on the keyboard so whatever key you have bound to sprint you have to click it to turn on your sprint it's a toggle sprint so you start sprinting and then when you press it again, you'll stop sprinting. And that may be fine for some people, but for me, that drives me absolutely bananas. I prefer to have an actual hold to run, or hold to sprint command um, on the keyboard, or setup, hold to sprint setup, I should say. Uh, and you can achieve that uh, not through the actual settings of the game because Bethesda decided, or whoever this other company is that were doing the um, this Unreal Engine 5 version, they have decided that's not required. So bringing in a sprint is, but not having a hold to sprint, that, 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 that's not important. So anyways, I'm using auto hotkey to overcome this problem and I've used this in the past. Now as of the 25th of April when I'm recording this video, it's Friday, um, there is no mod out there at the moment that actually allows holding to sprint. So when that changes, all you know, you go and download that mod because that's what I'm going to be doing. But for the moment, auto hotkey is the way to go. You can download it from autohotkey.com. Once you download and install it, basically what auto hotkey does is uh, you can write scripts um, to have different key commands or have different um, key setups on the keyboard happening. So for example, in this case, we can have it so that when we hold shift, um, that behavior is mimicked in the game where you'll start sprinting when you hold shift and when you um, release the shift key, you'll stop sprinting, which is what we want. Now, there are some small issues with it. For example, sometimes if I hold block when I'm sprinting, it can get confused, the script, and uh, it'll go back to the old behavior. But once you stop running and just start sprinting again as normal, it resets and it's fine. But um, it's kind of hard to replicate that, I find. It works mostly fine. So how do you, once you've got downloaded, how do you actually um, make the scripts? I'm going to leave the code for the script that I use um, down below. Now, I'm not going to take credit for this because from my best memory, I think either I got this fully online from someone else who had written this script or I cobbled it together from different um, scripts that I had found. I was a lot more into this at one, st at one stage, but nowadays I just use it. I generally tend to find other people's scripts and use them um, because, you know, laziness. So here's the script. Again, not taking any credit. If anyone recognizes this script, um, you know, you can you can post down below and the credit can go to you. But uh, this is it. And I'll leave this in the description of the video. Uh, now, how do you actually create one of these script files? So I'm going to demonstrate that to you now. So if I go back to the desktop here, I'm just going to create an example one. The easiest way I find to do this is just to go to right click, new, and just create a new blank notepad file. So we'll just call this sprint final as an example. Then you go into that file and then you paste in your, or write your code, or in this case, paste it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go save as, and I'm going to save it as a, I'm going to save it as a AHK file, which, and select this to all files. And when I do that, Save on the desktop. That's now saved there. So if I go back to my desktop again, you can should there's my sprint final AHK file. And all I do now is I double click on that. And if I go down here, you can see it started running um, down below here. And then if I go back into Oblivion now and I hold, you can see what I'm holding. I'm sprinting and I release, I stop. So hold, I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting, and then I release. And I stop and it works pretty well so now I'm back here with Joffrey and the boys and I can escort Martin here wherever I have to bring him again I can't remember um I can do that without having to toggle the sprint on and off which was really bugging me so that's pretty much how you do it guys if you've got any questions on that you can post a comment down below if you've come up with any of your own solutions to this issue let me know um and maybe if that mod finally goes live uh you know just uh, post about it down below as well, share it with the community. Let's go outside here for a second before we finish the video and let's just appreciate the crisp performance that we're getting. Now come to think of it, you probably won't be able to see it in the video because um, 
I don't have an FPS counter up, but I can tell you at the moment I'm getting a cool 50 frames per second on average. And uh, these are some uh, Mythic Dawn agents that I killed earlier on. I think you can still drag them by the feet, can you? Yeah, but you can't actually move them. So that's my little fix, guys, um, or at least a workaround for the moment. I um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will chat to you in the next one where I hope to do some sort of a benchmark for the um, remaster here and, um, yeah, talk about some of the technical issues the game is having.